If you knew the story of who you are at the genetic level, within your DNA, I'm not just talking about your aunts and uncles and cousins and maybe even a long lost sibling somewhere along the way. I'm talking way beyond this life about your cosmic and your galactic history that still resides in your DNA because that is what your DNA is. It's so much more than the color of your eyes and the long lost auntie that lives in Timbuktu. Your DNA is your Akashic record. It's the story of who we are as beings of divinity. I'm going to try my best to cram this into three minutes. Here we go. When God created everything, there were beings called archons. Archons had many beings of darkness align with them. Some of them were the Anunnaki, great geneticists, totally psychopathic, but nonetheless really intelligent folk. And they set about creating worlds. The worlds that they created were called the false matrix because, well, that's really all that they could do as beings of darkness because in their darkness, they lost their ability to create. They separated themselves from light, from God. They wanted nothing to do with divinity. They rejected all of it. And in losing their ability to create, they took a surface populace, that's where you and I come in, to populate the false matrices, thus create reality on their behalf. That's why we're always steered into our opinions. We're kind of like we have these knee-jerk responses. We're always coordinated into our very loud emotional responses. So... The beings who created the false matrix, when they were doing this, they were stopped by beings of light and said, whoa, what you're doing is not okay. You are geneticists hybridizing a human race to be your slaves. I don't think so. So the angelic said, well, we can't exactly stop this because this is free will and all. And the humans, you and me at the soul level, we had already agreed, oh yeah, we want to come into the false matrix, totally forgetting who we are, absolute amnesia, because that sounds like fun. We think that we can do something amazing in that playground of absolute forgetfulness. That's another story for another video. The angelic said, we'll interject our DNA into the experiment then. We insist. And along with the angelics, the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Andromedans, the Arcturians, so many other beings of consciousness said, we'll participate too, just so that we would have dark and light within us, not dark only. And the light within us is being catalyzed right now, and it's in the process of melting the darkness. It's in the process of reconstructing beings of darkness because we're rippling into their reality and they don't like what we're doing. This is what the angelics always knew, that with enough time, the light that was lying dormant in our DNA would be catalyzed.